And about three hours ago we had clouds, rain, humidity, warm temperatures. Now we don't have any of that. I mean, we are under beautiful blue skies here in New Orleans, cooler temperatures and much drier air. So it's shaping up to be a very, very nice day. A little bit of that northerly breeze, but temperatures in the lower 70s this afternoon, right around 70 degrees, dropping into the mid 60s once we get to sunset with a mix of sun and clouds. But now that that front's on through, I mean, it is nice out there. 70 at the airport currently. We do have some 60s on the North Shore. 73 there in Slide L, also some 70s and upper 60s as you head south of New Orleans. We still have a little bit of that northerly breeze, but it's not nearly as strong as it was a couple of hours ago. Earlier we were gusting to nearly 40 at the lakefront, really not gusting anymore, still gusting up to 16 in Hammond. But you can see the front right here now getting closer and closer to the mouth of the Mississippi. If you're south of that front, still dealing with the chance of rain over the next hour or so, but you can see a very, very thin line of rain. This is what moved through New Orleans and the North Shore earlier this this morning bringing a very brief uh, downpour and then behind it we saw some sunshine and that's exactly what we're still seeing. We do have some isolated showers, very light showers that are decaying or uh, uh, dying off as they head towards Hattiesburg and I-59. A lot of clouds associated with that. But the further south you go, you get into the sunny skies and then of course we're under those sunny skies here in New Orleans. So our hour by hour showing mostly clear skies over the next couple of hours. A few clouds lingering right along the coast and even tonight, uh, although that cold front moved through, it's not going to be that cold. We're only looking at lows tomorrow morning in the mid 50s and into the upper 40s, all thanks to more cloud cover developing across the area. It's still going to be dry out there. It's not going to be humid, but we are going to see some of the cloud cover. Thursday for Thanksgiving. Look at this highs only in the mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow is going to be gorgeous, by the way. I mean, we're going to have very nice weather for Thanksgiving down here in southeast Louisiana. Not the story across big parts of the country. I mean, we've got wind problems, snow problems up in the Midwest over towards the East Coast. They're going to be dealing with the wind tomorrow. Could be an issue uh, for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, by the way. A lot of snow, a lot of disturbed weather across the West as well. So big travel problems are anticipated across big chunks of the United States. Maybe not down here in southeast Louisiana, but here's our first storm system up around Chicago. That's going to be sliding off towards the east coast tonight going into tomorrow. Pretty quiet across the Midwest, but they have a developing storm system down towards Mexico. So our current look at flight problems, uh, really Chicago has been our big one that we've been seeing the delays increasing over the past couple of hours since San Francisco has moderate delays, but it's kind of been holding steady and then notice a lot of green on the map at the moment. So that's good news. That's likely going to change though as this weather system continues to push off towards the east. So for today, pretty quiet in the Midwest, big storm system in the Midwest that's heading or in the northern uh, quiet in the northern plains. Big storm system in the Midwest heading towards the East Coast. And then, of course, the West Coast is still dealing with their uh, record breaking storm system that's been over there the past day. As we go into Thanksgiving, big storm system in the central part of the country. This is going to cause disturbed weather towards our West. The exiting storm system off the East Coast heads out of the area. Look how quiet we are here in the southeast. So quite nice weather for us. And then for Black Friday, still dealing with the storm system towards the Midwest and uh, the Southern Plains. And as you head off towards uh, the West Coast, so a lot's going on. You definitely got to plan or maybe give yourself a little bit extra time for traveling. Our rain chances were zero today and into tomorrow, but by Saturday into Sunday, that storm system gets closer. Looking at better rain chances really Saturday night into early Sunday morning, and we're going to have to watch the potential for a few strong to severe thunderstorms. The Storm Prediction Center is already highlighting maybe one or two strong storms Saturday night in our area. It looks like the best ingredients will be just to our north, but that's just something we'll be monitoring pretty closely. For the rest of the day, mix of sun and clouds, beautiful Thanksgiving in the upper 60s, clouds building in as we head into the weekend, and then better rain chances Saturday night into early Sunday, and then nice and cool as we go into the beginning of December.